oh, 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 what's poppin' Savvy Investors? It's your Savvy Investor Dex here back with another banger. And this one right here gonna be a little special one for y'all. This actually gonna be a cold call that I'm making. Let me cut my loafy music down. She actually blocked me uh, the first time I called her, so I called her from another number and she answered. But we'll pick up y'all to kind of get the vibe of the conversation. Hey, Lauren. Hello. Yep, this hey. is this is Dexter. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Yep, so, so yeah, I was reaching out about a property that your, uh, I think your late father owned. Um, uh-huh. It was at 6210 Cobblestone Drive in Cobblestone Alexander. Drive. Yep, yep, yep. So what uh-huh. I do is, um, and I'll send you over the website to help you kind of put the puzzle together. Um, uh, I have an asset recovery business. So when you heard recovery, you assumed I was like a debt collector. That's why. That's why I get it. People always kind of confuse it. Um, uh-huh. but what I do is I, I have a data team and a legal team and a research team, and we scrub public records and we find people that are possibly old funds. Are you familiar with um unclaimed funds like state funds that are at the yeah. Louisiana Treasury uh-huh. Office? So I do the exact same thing, except I work with parishes, not the state. Okay. So this property sold. Uh, this was. This is. I don't have the exact date in front of me because we just had the case number. We don't have all of the details, but we do know it sold for a little bit more than asking price. So it's possibly around fifteen grand that could be owed to the heirs. Really. Right. That's why I was telling you, like, this is the exact opposite of a sales call. Okay. Um, so how do we go about uh, so both funds? From, from what I looked up, um, from what I looked up, it looks like he has a couple of kids, and it says like 21 grandkids and all. Um, so and I'm yeah, saying that... I'm, uh-huh. I'm saying that to say Louisiana law is kind of crazy when you talk about successions. So I guess the first thing, did he have a will? No, he did not. Okay. Did he uh have you got did you guys ever do a succession? No. Okay. So do you have a brother or a sister that you're closer with than others or maybe somebody that you could do do a succession yeah. with? All right, so the simple way to do it is um, we have it's two things in Louisiana. They have successions and they got small successions. A succession means you got to get all them kids and everybody got to sign off on it and they got to go through the courts and they're going to eat the 15, 15 grand up. Uh, a right. small succession is. Anyway. Right, there you go, because you got to get too many people involved to get messy. And uh, they all don't live here anyway. So go ahead, I'm sorry. Um, so. A small succession. The small succession, you just it's, it, it requires two people, two uh, heirs mm-hmm. to come together and say, hey, we're the only heirs that we know of. Now, okay. the reason I like to tell people this is not something that I think people should, should use maliciously to cut people out. Mm-hmm. But strategically, it's way cheaper to do a small succession versus a regular succession. So what we would do is, and I'll send you over my website so you can uh, take a look at them. What we would do is, we have uh, two attorneys that we work with. He's, uh, they're both located here in Louisiana. And and one's in New Orleans, one's in uh, Gentilly. Well, both in New Orleans, just different side. One in Metairie, one's in Gentilly. Um, Uh If you want to call and verify that they work with me, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, but they, they, they handle the legal side of it for me, so they draw up the motions. We figure out if there's any debt on the property and all that good stuff. But the, like I said from the first phone call, we don't we don't charge you anything. Like if we don't find anything, then we don't get paid anything. Uh-huh. So and gotcha. um And if you did find something, how much do y'all That's what I, yep, that's what yeah. I was about to say. So so we get we get thirty and you get seventy. Ten percent ten percent goes to our research team. 10% goes to our located team and 10% goes to our legal team. Okay. 
That's how that works. Okay. But we only get paid okay. if if we actually re recover the money. So you don't have to like worry about okay. is there some kind of hidden fee going to pop up out of nowhere? It doesn't work like that. Okay. Um, that sounds good. So what I will do is I will send over um, I get your email address and your okay. I guess so yeah what is your email address? I'll start with that. Gotcha. So what I will do is you can let me know a good time and I can I can have my partner meet you and bring you the uh, paperwork. It's just going to be like two two agreements. One agreement is going to allow my attorneys to actually look into the case because they can't legally start pulling dockets and all that stuff without you or some uh, like a family member knowing. So you'll be assigned on to say, hey, I acknowledge this. Um, and okay. Dexter, Dexter Brown, I'm the asset recovery specialist. You giving us permission to actually look into the case. Um, okay. and, the, and the second one would be the agreement that just clearly outlines if we're successful recovering any funds, we get 30% and you get 70%. Okay. So it's as simple as that. It's fairly you cut and dry. Come meet me? Yeah, I, well, I can, I can have them, I can have them bring the paperwork to you because we get it, uh, notarized. So I can have them bring it to you. The white lady, you can look her up to Susan Bergenois. Um, but okay. or, she doesn't have to come meet you. I was about to say I can email it to you. You can sign it, and I can get a note that way. But I just do it either way. Sometimes people be out and about. But I can email it to you, no problem. It doesn't matter either way. Okay, well, I'll email it to you tonight. And whatever family member that um, you want to be a part of this, you can just have a discussion with them or we can hop on a three-way phone call and I can kind of go over it again. Um, but we'll need them to okay. sign for the small succession. Okay. Gotcha. Now, he's going to put the gas. I'm sorry, excuse me. 20 on what? What is that? Yeah, hurry up, 20 o'clock. Okay, because he lives in um, Dallas. That's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. He's, he's going to be down. I already know he's going to do it. Okay. All right, so... It's just me and him. When I send you... When I send you this information, uh, I guess between now and um, you signing, you could give, give me his um, his email and mail an address and I'll do the same for him and just send it over to him. So y'all just y'all had a both thing we'll all be in one email thread. It'll be on one DocuSign so we'll all be on the same page. Okay. Um, I, I, I wish I could just add him. What's today? Tuesday? I don't know if he's at work or not. I wish he could hear this. Um, but I mean, or if you get him on the phone you can give me a call back. Okay. Yeah that's okay. fine too. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yep. I'm gonna um get a time where we can all talk. Are you like available all the time? Yep. I was about to say I do this every day, all day. This 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 is my day job. <laughs> okay. Eighty seven. Yep. Okay. So perfect because he works night normally. So um I'm gonna get with him and then we're gonna have a three way call. But you can still send me the uh, email. All right. Well, I'm going to get that over to you now, and I definitely appreciate your time. Well, thank you for keep calling me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to send you over I'm going to send you over my website too so you can put a face with the name and all that stuff. Okay, sounds good. And I'm going to get in touch with him and then I'll let you know when we can do a All right, appreciate it. Call. Enjoy your evening. All right, thank you. You too. All right, bye-bye. That's how you close a deal. From now on, that's how you close deals. I'm sorry, y'all. I got a little excited. I got to go into this little training with my, with my whoop de whoop, with my um. I disconnected something. What did I disconnect? I don't know. It just said disconnect something on my computer. But listen, that was a that was a pretty decent call. She blocked my first number. Um, she answered from my second number. She heard me out. That was a 
I pitch a perfect call, like pitch a perfect. I'm about to send over the website right now as I'm talking to you guys. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, Y'all be light. It's your savvy investor, Dex. There'll be more of these coming and I'm out.